we have for you today some single nunchuck training. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about how to hold your nunchuck. When you grip your chuck, you want to make sure that you hold it up top, close to the chain or the rope, whatever version of nunchuck that you have. And this is going to make sure that you have more control of the weapon. If I hold it down at the end, it's much harder for me to control. So I always want to keep my grip up at the top. So we're going to start, our first skill is going to be what we call clutching. I'm going to bring the nunchuck up to my shoulder, and then I'm going to flip it under my armpit. From my shoulder to my armpit, from my shoulder to my armpit. Now as we're doing this, I suggest you get in the habit of either keeping the other hand at a side guard position or in a fighting guard position, but never ever in this chicken wing, what is this hand doing position. All right, so we're going to just work that clutching up and down. You can set yourself a goal to do it 10, 20 times, 50 times, whatever you choose, or you can set a timer. We're simply going from shoulder to armpit. And again, that's what we call clutching. That's the first version. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I bring the chuck up to my shoulder, again, holding it at the top, get my other hand under control, and I'm gonna do my clutching on this side. And once again, go for a certain number of reps or a certain time limit. Now we're going to do a different method of clutching. Instead of coming to the armpit, I'm going to go down to the hip. Again, controlling my second hand, whichever version you choose. So now I'm going from shoulder to hip with my clutching. And now we're going to do it on the other side. Same thing, holding the nunchuck up at the top, from shoulder to hip. You practice this as many times as you need to. Rewind the video and go back and do it again. Now I'm going back to my first hand. This time I'm going to do my clutching and instead of armpit or hip, I'm going to go to my inner thigh. Now the trick to that is I'm not going to be hitting myself with the nunchuck. I want the top of the nunchuck to come down and almost touch my leg and the nunchuck gently wraps around so there's no real pain for me. So again, I'm going to get the other hand under control and I'm going from shoulder to hip, or shoulder to inner thigh. So the top of the nunchuck, my hand is touching my thigh so that I am not whacking myself with the nunchuck. I turn sideways. You see the nunchuck just goes right through. Now we're going to do the other end. Same thing over here. Shoulder to the inner thigh. You'll find that you always have one hand that's more comfortable than the other hand. If you're right-handed, it'll be your right hand that you like. And your left hand will be a little wonky. So your left hand always needs a little extra practice. left-handed, your left hand will be the good hand, and your right hand will be the wonky hand, but everybody's got one, and that is clutch. One key detail when it comes to the clutching, when I bring the nunchuck up over my shoulder, you see it dangling here below. This is going to be important when you want to do catches later on. It always comes over the shoulder like this, so I want to make sure that I'm coming to the back of my arm and not hitting myself in the back. So I come up here and it dangles below. So now we're gonna work on our first catch. So when you hold the nunchucks up vertically, they automatically come together. So all I have to do is open my hand so that I'm simply pinching the nunchuck between my thumb and my forefinger and they come together and then you will close your fingers and you have your catch. So we're gonna do that with our forward spin. And then I wanna bring my nunchuck upright into my catch. I'm gonna practice that with the other hand under control. So from that shoulder, forward spin, bring the nunchuck upright, they automatically come together. Again, forward spin, I bring my nunchuck upright and they come together. I suggest you practice that numerous times because that is a very, um, 
skill that's used very, very often, especially when you get to your double nunchucks. Now we're gonna repeat it on the other hand. So from this side, again, starting from my shoulder, I'm gonna do my forward spin, then bring my nunchuck up right as I open the hand, so I'm just pinching it with my thumb and my pointer finger. You close the hand and you have your catch. So again, forward spin, open the hand and there's the catch. Forward spin, open the hand and there's your catch. Practice that multiple times on both sides. Now we're gonna take our forward spin and our back spin and we're gonna put them together. So again, I'll start from my shoulder. I'm gonna forward spin down. I'm gonna come down to my hip. Then I'm gonna backward spin going up to my shoulder. Turn sideways for you. Forward spin to the hip. Backward spin to the shoulder. Forward spin to the hip. Backward spin to the shoulder. Now our goal is to get to where we can do that with one spin. One spin down, one spin up. One spin down, one spin up. One spin down, one spin up. So you get it where it's really rocking. Once you've got that, catch it. Now let's do the other side. So again, you can start from the shoulder. Forward spin down, backward spin up. Forward spin down, backward spin up. Forward spin down, backward spin up. And again, the goal is to do that in one spin. Forward spin down, backward spin up. Forward down, backward up. You get to gradually increase your speed. And then, of course, you catch. And that's your forward back. Remember the key point we had with the clutching earlier about coming to the back of the arm and not hitting yourself in the back? That's gonna be super important when you get to doing this forward back spin because you're moving faster. You do not wanna be hitting yourself with the nunchucks. So again, from my shoulder, the nunchuck is dangling down. I go down and up. I wanna bring it to the back of that arm. I do not wanna hit myself in the back. Back and on, back and on. And that's important. I'm not telling you you're not gonna hit yourself with a nunchuck, because that would be a lie. You are gonna hit yourself. But we don't want to create bad habits that cause it to happen more often.